Hi everybody, this is Blue Phoenix. Some people like to call me Eric. It's yet another beautiful day here in Kentucky, although the rain should be coming in here soon. So I want to record this really quick. I want to talk today about the false perception that uh, asexuality and or aromanticism is a sign of uh, immaturity or irresponsibility. Um, I guess there's a perception out there that until you've had uh, sex, you're not a real man or a real woman, you're still just a, a child. Or uh, if, you're not, uh, if you're not devoted to one person through marriage, then uh, you're, not, you're not engaging in the responsibility that adults are supposed to uh, engage in. And um, I also say that these, these are very, uh, very false rumors. All, they're all part of um, amount of normativity, which is a very evil <laughs> topic for another day. But um, anyway, I just want to kind of dispel those, those arguments. Um, it's, it's pretty easy to poke holes in this. Um, you really just have to come up with immature people who, who uh, have sex and uh, mature people who don't. <laughs> Uh, same with the aromanticism or romanticism, uh, ma immature people in love and mature people who aren't, <laughs> never have been. So um, it's it's pretty easy. Uh, I'll I'll first explain just some anecdotal anecdotal uh, evidence in my life. Um, I'm 37. I I do consider myself um, aromantic or very close to it and uh, an asexual. Um, and uh, I, I do consider myself a very mature person. Uh, I have a steady job. I work at a software company and uh, I'm a manager there. Uh, I manage currently three people uh, and uh, I'm going to get a fourth here pretty soon. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I, I'm, I'm actually a manager at this company. Uh, I have a lot of responsibility there um, to uh, help my employees uh, do better at their jobs and also deliver um, these new features to our customers. Um, so the work I do is very get out of there. <laughs> the work I do is uh, is is pretty important there. I, I feel like a, a, a um, like I have a, a lot of uh, responsibility and, and power in this company. So uh, there's that. Um, I do. I, I own a house or well. <laughs> The bank owns half of it, but I own the other half. Um, I've got a, a great deal of money and savings, so I'm working towards retirement pretty well. I'm, I'm on track to uh, retire by 65, maybe 60 if I'm lucky. Um, I pay all my bills. I've never been late. Uh, I have no credit card debts. Um, so those are kind of financial things. I feel like even though I'm not uh, married or into sex at all, that uh, I feel like a very mature and responsible person, uh, and so never having that sexual experience really doesn't affect my um, the rest of my life. I would say. So anyway, I mean, you can really you can poke holes in people's arguments because they say, well, you know, you have to have sex to be a, a mature adult. So uh, just as an example, there's teenagers out there; they're in high school, uh, they have sex and. They make a they make a baby accidentally, and neither the father or mother are prepared for raising a child. And often it, it falls into the hands of the mother's parents to take care of the child. Um, usually the father, um, you know, he, he bails, he runs, and, and it's a really bad situation. Um, but I, you know, if they're 16 years old and they're they're bringing a baby in the world, that's um, you know, because they screwed up, <laughs> they screwed and they screwed up, um, then um, I, w I wouldn't consider that mature. Um, I'd say that's, that's a pretty, it's a pretty, um, pretty irresponsible actually not to, not to use protection and, and, uh, and prevent that. So uh, that's not a hundred percent every case. Uh, some, some people that age, are mature enough and they can handle the responsibility of raising a child uh, and that's okay too but but there's a lot that aren't and I mean you see it in the news uh, you hear about it, it happens you, you can't ignore that um, and then as far as um, you know romanticism goes let's say um, you know you got 
13 year olds that go out and start dating and stuff and, and you're like are they really mature <laughs> are we saying that every 13 year old who gets in a romantic relationship is mature because they they're in a relationship um seems silly uh i mean maybe it's more about marriage that um you're not responsible until you're in a marriage um okay well uh there's plenty of people that have never been married like Nikolai Tesla, he never got married. Uh, he invented the AC motor, which was a really important discovery. Uh, he felt that in his life, um, he didn't really have time for romance. Uh, he felt good about using his intelligence and, um, you know, inventing things. And he invented a lot of important things in the area of electronics. So, um, you got uh, Ralph Nader is another good example. He, uh, uh, as far as I know, he's never been married. That doesn't necessarily mean he's aromantic. I can't prove that, but um, does that mean he's immature just because he's never been married? Well, no, of course not. Um, he helped. Uh, he helped uh, make sure that seat belts are installed in every car. Uh, he drove a lot of the car safety requirements we have today. And because of him, he's probably saved, I don't know about millions of lives, <laughs> hundreds of thousands. Yeah, he's probably saved hundreds of thousands of lives. I could say that. Um, so he's immature because he never got married. Come on. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, You've got ammunition for both sides. You can easily point to immature people who uh, who have sex and, and have romance, and you can point to mature people who who have neither. So don't feel like if people people make that assumption, um, don't listen to them. First of all, don't be convinced of that yourself. It's up to you if you want to put up a fight and tell that to somebody's face. Um, I haven't really had to argue this point before, but um, I think. I think if I was faced with that, somebody challenged me and said, "Hey, you're you're not a real man," then uh, I would I would have to challenge them on that because uh, I do a lot of important things in my life, and uh, to tell me that I'm immature because I haven't had sex is ridiculous. So, uh, at, at the very least, stop believing it yourself, and don't spread that don't spread that BS around because it's, it's stupid. Uh, and if you want to argue against it with people, feel free. If, if you don't feel comfortable arguing with people, then you don't have to, but just don't, don't believe them, uh, at the very least. So, I uh, hope that helps. And, uh, it does look like we're, we're about to get some rain here. So it'll be coming in shortly. So, uh, please subscribe if you want to see more videos. And, uh, I'm probably going to go to buy weekly after this. I need to, uh, I need to come up with some more material, but um, I'll do that, and uh, I'll see you next time. And uh, if you want to see my pitiful garden, <clears throat> might be a little hard to see, but uh, I planted some flowers in those planters, and uh, what that was last weekend, and they're all they're all dead. <laughs> I do have this one down here, the hydrangea. He survived, but anyway. Gardening's not my thing. I'll catch you next time. See ya.